teaching uh, leadership is such a vital skill, such something we have to really focus on. Too often, uh, people are promoted uh, for having their technical capabilities. They are a good technician or uh, they're a good uh, accountant or a good engineer, and suddenly they're promoted and made a leader. And those skills that they had in accounting or engineering, whatever it might have been, aren't as relevant anymore. And instead, we need a huge set of new skills to understand people, to manage people, to uh, have tough conversations. And if we can start that process with empathy being a common thread, it makes uh, our job so much easier because leadership is about people. It's about caring about people to get the best performance from them. It's about understanding what drives them, what motivates them, or what excites them, what depresses them, what engages them, and what disengages them. And so making sure that we help those new leaders understand empathy as a fundamental is really important. And this is why breaking it down into this simple uh, processes become a really useful uh, way of helping those leaders to navigate this space. What I've found in my experience is that too often empathy is taught or is talked about in these broad terms in in sort of nice motherhood statements and platitudes that you can't argue against, but you can't really use. So instead, we make sure that the empathy process is a very simple, clear four step process. It's actionable, it's, it's absolutely practical, and it's something they can immediately implement with the person sitting next to them, with their people at home, with people at work, with managers, friends, and family. So we want to make sure that it's a practical step-by-step -step process, and we've really found that's incredibly useful when helping to, to, to navigate through those emerging leader challenges that many people have. Yeah.